Welcome to Data Analytics Overview based on AWS Solutions Architect Topics by Abilead. We offer cloud service introductions exam question explanations and practicing of real exams. Big, fast, and built to last. Modern data architecture provides the concept for today's organizations to gain deeper insights with Data Lake's seamless data movement and its governance. Depending on its use case it extends with data warehousing, NoSQL databases, or other analytical services. You start to ingest with Kinesis data streams called KDS, for multiple distributions, or ingest with Kinesis data firehose called KDF, for ETL conversions to S3. With lake formation called LFN, you create and centrally control the main S3 data lake, together with glue jobs and catalogs. Additional data processing is available with Apache Flink called MSF, for streaming or EMR for big data clustering. In the end your data can be seamless analyzed with Athena, visualized with QuickSight, or searched with OpenSearch. And how can you use it? Let's make use of your case. With the data lake you handle big volumes of images videos or any other files. It postpones transformations and schema definitions for fast and simple ingestion. You can use it to improve sales, to improve product or genomics R&D, or to increase manufacturing quality. If you want to store big relational data volumes, your solution is the Redshift Data Warehouse. With its data preparation during ingestion you get highest data quality. You can use Redshift for business intelligence, called BI, for SQL client access, or for feeding other analytical tools. For real-time analytics, you need a streaming architecture. It permanently transforms and stores the ingested data streams from diverse streaming sources. Common examples are monitoring of fabrication equipment or financial transactions and for consumer recommendations. And how does the process work? Whether short or long, the process shouldn't be wrong. For your analytics or BI you can choose between three data processing with arranged process steps to extract, transform and load. With ETL you transform the raw data into a format, then load the structured data into a data warehouse. This is called schema on write. In contrast ELT loads the raw data directly into a data lake or streaming analytics and transform it at a later stage with the schema on read method. Finally, Zero ETL introduced in 2022, replicates from Aurora or RDS into Redshift for immediate streaming to analytics. To complete it, each relational database system is optimized for either analytical or transaction data. This is called OLAP and OLTP to express online data reception and processing in databases and data warehouses. With the right conclusion you find your solution. Each solution has its required storage, but S3 Data Lake offers most scalable and cost-effective storage and most flexible data processing. However, Redshift's transformation is more reliable. And the most performing analytics solution is analytics streaming with its focused analytics and auto-scaling. Also, Redshift's streaming ingestion and zero ETL performs better than S3 Data Lake. All of this comes at a price, and the streaming pipeline Simple Analytics offers lowest cost. As a conclusion, for large unstructured volumes use S3 Data Lake. For complex queries of standard data, Redshift is your solution and for fast simple analytics, you use streaming analytics. Hold on a minute. If you like this channel and its free content to continue, please subscribe it on the right bottom button. Data ingestion is more than a gesture. To use the power of big data analytics, data assets need to be transformed into tangible business value. The following use cases with Glue, Lake Formation, and EMR represent latest exam questions on moving big data. Glue Serverless ETL Solutions integrates with any service to catalog data lake data and you can scale variable loads. For event-based efficient batching, first integrate Lambda to cover short run preparations with buffering and scheduling. The glue job in the example then aggregates the batches for table structure transformation and bookmarking. 
In addition the files are compressed and partitioned for consumption with integrated Athena and its QuickSight visualization. And how does it work with big data? Data lake security is a big reality. To protect your data, LFN securely navigates you through large datasets and multiple users. LFN's permissions model replaces S3 bucket and IAM policies. For efficient S3 data lake and glue job workflow operations, you can use LFN blueprints. First, ingest with KDF and use glue jobs with catalog for bookmarking and table structuring. After compressing to Parquet files, LFN provides temporary access keys to filter data. It then grants access to specific catalog resources and S3 data on behalf of integrated Athena. Now you can perform Athena on-demand analysis. Let's have a look for big data migrations. An EMR migration is a controlled operation. To handle uneven on-premise workloads and for open source innovation, you want to migrate your Apache Hadoop data center to AWS. To use all options and for lowest cost on-demand ETL, you use Amazon EMR with spot instances. Combined with DMS migration, your source database remains fully operational during the transfer. And if you want to switch the database engines, the schema conversion tool called SCT transforms to fit the target platform. Finally for BI and analytics with simplified read and write, Redshift integrates Apache Spark. Now you can visualize the transformed data with QuickSight. Do you need more speed? Some like it hot, some like it cold. For faster business decisions the following use cases use stream processing apps in real time. With Kinesis you can ingest media files, logs, click streams, or IoT telemetry. If you need real-time monitoring and in the same time on-demand analytics, you use a hot and a cold module architecture. With KDS you stream the end-user transactions and with MSF you monitor for deviating values. Then you fan out with SNS in the hot module triggered by one lambda function and with the second function prepare for open search. In contrast, KDF in your cold module partitions and compresses the raw data for long-term storage in S3. Anytime you want, you can finally interact with Athena Analytics in S3. How can you secure your sensitive data? Data privacy is certainly a primacy. To optimize your client's energy cost, you connect smart meters and weather data streams with API Gateway in your event-driven app. Then KDS gathers all data streams in a secured table partition to protect your client's sensitive information. The Lambda function separates sensitive and analytical data in KDS storage. It then stores notifications in DynamoDB table and distributes the message via SNS to the compliance team. The analytical data is sent to KDF for indexing and long-term storage in S3. Finally, with OpenSearch you can search the non-sensitive data for further processing and views. Would you like it with third-party sources? for one and one for all. To track Salesforce sources campaigns and your orders, you want to build an event-driven app. With AppFlow you fetch Salesforce object changes every minute and send it to KDF. In parallel, KDF also ingests and buffers streamed order data. It then harmonizes all streamed data with partitioning and the Lambda function compresses to Parquet files. And if there are any data deviations MSF cleans and then gathers data in a single table, before sending it to S3. In addition MSF threshold sends mark data to S3. The closing bell rings with upload events via SNS notification. With the understanding of data analytics for solutions architects, you are ready now for more details. If you want to prepare and safely pass the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam, we recommend to also practice our real exams on Udemy. We wish you further insights with Abilid videos.